chit chit chickadees, chit 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 mouse. Everybody loves to watch birds. There's really no limit to the number of bird houses you can build. Bird house. You probably should have got somebody who knows how to use a computer <laughs> <laughs> running the switch. Welcome <laughs> to the first episode, episode zero, the pilot episode of uh, Introduce Yourself. Who is you? I'm Connor Mink. Did you want to see the title? No, not no. yet. Okay. No, we gotta yet. introduce ourselves okay. first. Okay. My name's Brody. That's Brody. I'm Connor, and we got. The, we're from Ultra Bird Visuals, and we then this, are Ultra Bird. We visuals. are Ultra Bird. Vi- we are, um, and uh, yeah. So we we decided, you know, podcasts are popular nowadays. So let's hop on these trends. And uh, we, we, when you get a podcast, you have to hire someone that knows how to do it for you. Because no one does anything by themselves. We couldn't afford it. But we so couldn't we, afford it. So we have it. Kyle. Right. So we got Kyle. Hello. This is Kyle. Introduce Hello. yourself. Don't know what I'm doing. My name is Kyle Severino. Right. This is Kyle. Don't know, along. don't know what I'm doing, Severino. That should be your middle name. That's a good nickname. I liked it. I only messed Kyle up like four times, computers. guys. <laughs> Kyle... Kyle can't. It's the DPI. It's, yeah. Kyle, it's, it's the DPI. It's the DPI. Yeah. It's the DPI. Is that, are we going to have a t-shirt before like we even have content for this? Or it's just Kyle, it's like... It's, it's the, the DPI. DPI. It's the t-shirt. You got to. All right, we're thinking of merch already. We're, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Um, what is this? What are we doing? Why are we here? Other than cashing in on what's popular nowadays, why? Why have we come together? To have a conversation. To have you know? one conversation, that's it? Yeah, continuous. A really long one. An extremely long one. Yeah. Super... Longer like a, than I want it to be. L- longer longer than the day is long. We're going to have conversation. We're, we'll eventually get to 25, and they'll if they're an hour each, that's longer than a day. Talk yeah, longer than that, a day. That would be longer than a day. I'm that's here great. for the money. Mm-hmm. For the Raid Shadow Legends. Because the Raid Shadow. <laughs> yeah, Raid Shadow Le- Why don't you, are we getting into that? Do you yeah, want to get into let's that? Get, let's get right into let's that. Let's do it now. We had- so these guys sold their souls. Yeah. I have it uh, officiated, right? That's yeah, the word? Officiated. Yeah. Right there. You got to. In writing. In writing. Yeah. That's the contract. Raid Shadow Legends now. Read the contract. Read the contract. Read <laughs> yeah, it. I, think read some- I, Connor Mink, and Brody Walsh agree that Kyle Severino will be the sole propi- proprietor of the inevitable Raid Shadow Legends sponsorship. Mm-hmm. It will be mine, and that's right. why I'm here. And uh, then, so also so, to pull stuff up. Yeah, eventually, because uh, I know I don't know if he even knows how to use a board. Let no, alone, I mean, it, yeah, he really can't pull. I don't know if he can I'm Google. He's really struggling. He can he can try. This He's, is this is my initiation. Yeah, it's the you know? DPI. It's it, it, it's always it, the DPI. You know, it's never. I'm not even phone. using the mouse right now. Let's not get into that. All right. Yeah, I've never. Have you used a mouse before? Or are you a trackpad He's guy? A trackpad guy. Yeah. Definitely Stop. a trackpad. You got yeah. trackpad <laughs> looks. He looks like a trackpad guy. He's got one. He looks like, like a he's track got like pad. the rollerball thing. Right. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's he'll use that in the middle of a yeah, yeah. laptop yeah. from nineteen ninety seven. That little red nipple in the, yep. in the middle. You look like a nipple he's guy. He's like I can't use I can't <laughs> use a computer without nipples. Right. Unless there's a nipple between like G and H and T. I, I can't do, do it. I do like nipples. Yeah. So <laughs> so what are what do we wanna like what are, what are we talking about? What's today's conversation? Is that do you not do that in conversations? Do you like not, not get with ask. your friends? Just let them play. <laughs> like what are we what are we talking about? I can tell you right now. Every time I have a conversation, I ask what the conversation right. is going to be about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Are, are you guys Kyle, on the same page? What are we about to talk about right now? Hey Kyle. Um, Kyle, have you been switching? I've been switching. We've been talking Kyle, back Kyle, and forth. I've been. What are we about to talk about right now? Because I, I need to know so that I know if I yeah. want to leave what? the conversation. <laughs> right. If I don't want to like right. actually talk about some bullshit um, or whatever. Why don't why don't why don't we talk about on uh, work that you guys are up to? Is there anything work. upcoming? Right. Uh, oh yeah, we do. Ultra Bird. Is there something you guys want to give away? True. Or you know, anything? Like any ideas? Insider like yeah. information about is, what's coming up? Is there any? Released? Do we have anything on the docket? Yeah. Yeah, coming music up. Video oh coming yeah! Up. Shout out uh, Mark Zastro. He's Mark the Aquarius. He's got a show coming up. Mark the Aquarius. Uh, I believe it's November twelfth. At Stamps Bar. I think right? so. I think I saw. Pretty sure it's a Stamps Bar. Crazy. Yeah. Usually yeah, the dog. plugs are safe for the end. 
This no, I just over already? no. This is uh, <laughs> this is just what we're up to. Yeah, it's already because we were we were gonna take photos for him, and then he decided he would rather have a music video. So we're just gonna do that later on and not take photos. But we might still take photos because that's just what we love to do. That is our pet. Well, at least me. I might I not like have any photos as well. You're a photo guy. I got a camera. Do you have a camera? Right here. How long? How old is it? 30, 40 years old, probably. 30, 40. And how old are you? I'm about 23. About around that. About. <laughs> about. We don't talk about, about it. Somewhere about, <laughs> somewhere about 23. I had to think about it for a second. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're I, getting like, to that I still age. don't. Yeah. I, I, I think I'm like 21, probably. Yeah. Could be like 87 or something. Yeah, I mean, none of them matter after 21, really. None of them are what like an time? event anymore. Right. You know what I mean, though? I mean, like twenty one is like the last big one. Forty, forty and fifty. Well, yeah, but you gotta big. wait. Like you, you literally gotta wait twenty nine years between oh. like the two birthdays that matter. And I'm not fifty. Yet. Well, yeah. <laughs> so, like, but I, you said I'm not really, I'm not really worried about fifty. Yeah, you're not you know worried about. I mean? You should be. Why? Because it's gonna happen eventually. <laughs> it, may, if, it remains if, to be seen. If he we'll makes see. it to fifty, yeah, right, right, we gotta, yeah, we gotta, yeah, we gotta see what happens. Who knows? But no, all I'm saying is that you have to like, at least take that it's an event. Like, you can't say that the 50th birthday is not an eventful birthday. It might be. Because it's like... Honestly, I haven't had one yet. I don't remember. Well, you, you've never heard of I, a 50th go, the, birthday you, you go, okay, that like, has been The, the birthday is a matter of, like, it's like, like, 18. 18. Because that's like, you're an adult. So that's the first exciting birthday no, like, of your okay, entire no, life no, is I'm 18 years like adult old. life, adult life. But, like, if you're going right. back to kids, like, the ones that matter... What's a 50-year-old? Like, what an adult? Kid, like, everyone from 1 to 18 kind of matters because you're a kid. Sort of. In a sense. It, sort of. Right? Like, and they, like, pre they mattered less and less every year. Like, yeah. You're uh, right. It depends. Like, every year it matters. Oh, he's 10. Like, you get to 16, you can it. drive. 17 is age of consent in New York. Right. 18. You gotta throw that one in. <laughs> That's you, where you everything vote. changes. Yeah, 18. 18. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you. Yeah, once you hit that big one, 20, eight. you're in your 20s. Right. 21, you can you're drink. You're just in your 20s. 19, you can drink in Canada. Right. And we so, live close enough to Canada for that to matter. Yeah. And then... Mm -hmm. There's 22 through 50, or 49, I guess, and like nothing happens. It's like, just that nobody talks about like, whoa, you're 47. Yeah, you're just nobody pointing gives out a shit. that there's a succession of like things that you're able to unlock. And they literally progressively matter less. Yeah, less. no, but that's what I Until mean. Until you is... get to a point where you're like, holy shit, he's still alive. Yeah, that's when they start yeah. mattering again. Yeah, it's exactly. like they, like a like, guy's whoa, like 100 and, uh, 103, and they're yeah. like, whoa, oh, yeah. whoa, how many more of those, dude? Yeah, like is Betty White 100 yet? Yeah, Betty White is technically older than sliced bread. But is she 100 yet? Is it sliced no, bread 100? No because I feel like we would know if she was 100. I don't, we would right? know. I don't but we so. don't know when she turns 96 because, like... We nobody, can find out. Nobody cares. But it's not like we don't... Yo, should we no say way. Yo, Kyle, really pull it up. I, yo, Kyle, yo, Kyle, pull, Kyle up. pull it up. Yo, Kyle, pull up you Betty You know, as White. much as I want to, like, live up to the producer role, I just don't <laughs> too care much enough. I don't care cool. enough about Betty White. You don't care enough? Nah. So Good for her. You know, she probably had at least, like, 80 cakes. 80 cakes? Like, cakes? Yeah. What does cakes mean? No, what do you mean? Like, like she, she ate them <laughs> birthday on her birthday. Cakes. You know? I didn't think there was birthday like cakes? I don't I didn't think there was a bunch to understand there. I, I got what you were Thanks, saying. man. Yeah, no, I did that. I I just didn't fully the sheer amount of candles that Betty was. <laughs> yeah, sheer man. amount, bro. What a yeah. What a I woman. Say it's a waste. <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't want to say that. I think you're gonna say what a woman. This and Betty White over here. I'm just. She is graceful. Yeah. Do you think? Okay. To to be honest, do you think Betty White is going to live? through like the next presidency like who's next buddy white or joe biden what is what's your, what do what you, do you think? Wait, what? I'm like, Betty White or Joe Biden? Who's going to die first? Who's in a death pool? I think Give Betty White is definitely no, going to die first. Dude. There's no way. Betty White, she don't live us all. She'd definitely die before Joe Biden, though, right? You think? Are you sure? Yeah, I mean, Joe Biden's got like 40 years right on him, bro. Dude. Yeah, but she's got 40 years on Joe Biden. I, I doubt don't know. It. I don't know. I'm pulling this up. You got to. I'm pulling this up. Betty White versus Joe Biden. Betty White. Betty White. She's 99, She's 99. She's 99, She's 99 years old. Oh, dude, we got to throw a Betty White's birthday party on a, on a later episode. January 17th. It's coming Yo, up. Yo, quick, quick. Yeah. January 17th. Yeah. We're scheduling uh, a podcast yeah. on the 17th in honor of we Betty got a birthday. White. Betty White's 99 birthday. cakes. Can you believe that? You do, are we going to have to bring her her 100th birthday cake? Should we we got to have it? a cake. We got to <laughs> we we get, get, no, get her on it. We have to get, yeah. oh, yeah, we have to get uh, Betty White yeah. Have yeah. Her for her 100th it. birthday. Not talk to any kids yeah. she might have, anything. No, she deserves to be on the first guest on the birdhouse. 
Did I say what the podcast name is? I don't no, even you know. Haven't. We didn't. We I literally we asked you if you wanted to say what about it was. ten minutes and, before, and, and you still haven't mentioned it. Yeah, I'll give this it is a, the burn house. Over to Connor. You literally go, Welcome to the burn house, Connor. And this is what's your name? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the bird house. That's what this is. Um, and then this is Brody. That's that's what I was like. That so that's Brody. that's the beauty of conversation. He's you know trying to I mean? pass the buck. You, you never know where I'm going to go. You know what's funny is we're talking about what to talk about in a conversation yeah. and then we talked about yeah the dropping the name right yeah but we never did exactly <laughs> well that's just, just how life goes we definitely should have done more that's... talking about what we were going to talk about generally <laughs> generally people enjoy that well if we're going to be talking about what we're talking about then i'm th- no what are we talking about <laughs> no <laughs> then what are we talking about <laughs> so what do you guys do what do we do what is ultra bird uh, so is this For those a, who don't know is this an interview? Is this an interview? Yeah, oh, you, I, no, 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 no. We should Oprah? do an introduction. So, so okay. So me. So I don't want to introduce myself first because that seems pretentious. So I'm gonna pass it over to Brody. You gonna pass the bucket? Yeah. Then. So you gotta like give me a give me a rough life story of Brody. A life, life story? Yeah. Give me a one sentence life story. I didn't come prepared with a life story, dude. Give me I a, don't really have a life. Give me story. two. The last two months. The last two months. In a sense. I, what? I've been doing nothing the last <laughs> You've done nothing. You've been, been nothing. making music videos, taking pictures. Yeah. We've been writing movies. You love it's squeaking. It's like falling man. out, bro. You, you gotta, okay, so you gotta turn this, hold it where you want it to be, and spin this. The other way. There you go. Do no, I, I, had to, I had to loosen it. it. Oh, loosen yeah, it. okay, that's fine. I'm sure. It's just like sliding down, and I don't want it to like. Right. Fuck up. That's oh, the mic's now sliding down. That's what that it keeps doing. It, it, so I keep yeah. having to adjust. Well, it. you got to put it like in front and then go face toward. People love this, probably. Yeah, right. It's a oh, technical. Yeah. It's uh, the pressure's on, Connor. Yeah, whatever. You, what's your life story? My life story is. The last two months only, though. You only get two <laughs> yeah, months. Only two months. <laughs> dude, I don't know why we're giving life stories, bro, because it's going to be the same shit. The no, last two months, in a sentence, is uh, I, uh, I do editing. And general video work, and also have a day job, but I want to do more video and editing. Work. This is the case for both. So, of us. so now we're gonna make a podcast so that we can do video and editing work. I don't know if we want to weekly. I don't know if we want to lead with this. What do you mean? It just seems like uh, shilling a little bit. Well, what is come out here? We're we're, we're doing. If the you're in the entertainment to have a good business, time, man. Yeah, we're also you not know, to get clients, bro. Nah, we're not doing it to get clients. You're the one that brought that up. Well, come on, you just said so. We're doing a podcast because we want to do more video work. Yeah, because this is a these are video cameras and this uh, is video work, and we're okay. gonna do the work every week. Uh, you'll Fair find enough. the GoFundMe in the description. Yeah, because uh, we're poor. Just help help us help us out. Yeah, we need anything you can give us, but primarily money. So. No, but that's um, that's all I mean. I don't mean that we're shilling for right. for no, clients. That's fine. That's fine. This guy's making assumptions. This man, this man has ill intent, but I love him anyways. So, Kyle, that leads us to Kyle. Who? Right. What are you doing here? Uh, people have probably the least inf- information pe- from people you. Probably care the least, but it's care the least. Don't play your no. Dude, it's just the DPI, bro. It's, it's just, just the DPI. DPI. Um, Kyle is all well, about the DPI. I like. I like movies. I like to act. I like to write. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, you've acted in a few things that we've done. Yeah, a couple of shorts. I did some behind-the-scenes work for Brody's work. Mm-hmm. I've acted in two of Connor's shorts. And, you know, we all just have a mutual interest in that. So Yeah. But, you know, the past two months. Yeah, give it the past two uh, months. A lot of beer, a lot of Rocket League. Hell uh, yeah. I, I work. My language. <laughs> I work. <laughs> Got to plug, got to plug the shout out. Yo, shout oh, out. Pay us first, motherfucker. Shout out. Oh. Yo, they got to pay us first, motherfucker. <laughs> but not too much. We'll only shout, this is a this is a slight shout out. We're not going to tell anyone what. We don't shout out anybody unless we have a fucking promo. Code, no, bro. no, I'm saying we'll say your name, but it's like the teaser. You know what I mean? This is like the little sample no, we'll get from everyone. we say the name and we bleep it out? We're, oh. So that some, your name could be <laughs> oh, you, yeah. This could be your name. This could be you. Yeah, yeah it's like the advertisement. Yeah. Like the, the, the banners. Yeah, we just go. It's brought brutal. to you by... See, it keeps happening, bro. Dude, what did I tell about? you? You got to bring it up and make it perpendicular. Okay, spin this thing. Or do that. You got this. That, yeah, now it's I got spin, tight. Now, now you, you tighten it. Yeah, there you go. Look at mine. I have not adjusted mine once. 
Well, yeah, you chose the place that you were sitting with the good microphone. With the good <laughs> microphone. See, now that's an assumption. The, I did choose the place I was sitting. Only it's because... True. It just happens to have a microphone stand that's not literally falling apart. Falling apart. They're the same microphone stand bought at the same time. I don't know what you're talking about. This is a lot of excuses up here. I don't know, bro. They you look, don't know. They look like two separate microphone stands to me. Uh, they look like two distinct objects. Do they? In two distinct spaces. Are, Are you the, sure? I got the Easy Life over here. A right, little desk mic. I bought that today. Thanks. <laughs> where'd you, where'd no you, problem. Where'd you get it? Uh, we're not. We can't plug anything. I thought. Be... Right. No, but I was doing a bit. Are we? I was calling back. Oh, are we gonna? So we're gonna like. We're gonna bleep it. Bleep it out again. Yeah. Yeah. I bought it at uh, Guitar Center. Ah. Uh, but they don't get a shout sponsorship. Out? No, not shout out. No, it could no, be you. Fuck. It could be you. Yo, can we get a guitar center shout out? A big, no, big no, sponsor. Those will be bleeped. Does anybody play guitar? We gotta get a musical. Kyle podcast. owns a guitar. We talked about that. That was our pre-roll. I was like, "Do you own any instruments?" And he said, "Harmonica and guitar." And a synthesizer. And a synthesizer. He doesn't play. Do you? Uh, Which I can relate. Wait. Do you? Do you play the harmonica? Yeah, you I have mean, one of those. Fans. I, 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 do like, those, I got those, like, like some cabs. Things? Do you, you know? have one of those? Like, no, 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 I'm not. So that you could do guitar and could, play the harmonica. No, I could do. Uh, that'd be like piano man. Yeah, on the harmonica. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's about it. Yo, we gotta bring that. Just look har- up. We gotta get that harmonica solo in. Yeah, here. yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to work with it with a guy, and uh, me too. He was like. <laughs> He uh he like played the harmonica professionally. He would he would go with like his dad. He's a blues traveler. Yeah, pretty much. Nice, pretty cool. Did they make a movie about him? No. Shit. That was probably someone else then. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Speaking of movies, we like those. I'm pretty sure. Do you like them? Does yeah. Does Brody in general? I don't know if you like. I can't tell. Some about you just says doesn't look like you like movies. Not a big movie guy. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. As, I don't know if it's. I, like, I don't like movies at all. I think it's your I hat. Hate, I hate all movies. <laughs> There's not a single movie that yeah. I like, especially There's black not and like white. A single movie, yeah. Especially black and white French one. films. Yeah, there's not a single one that I like. Those specifically, though, they there's grind nothing you. about me that would make you think that I even <laughs> like a single movie. That's what I'm saying. That's I. I just wanted the audience to know that. Yeah, and like especially the audio listeners, they're you gonna know. know. They're gonna love it. I honestly just kind of hate everything, though. Yeah. You, know, you know what I'm saying? Like I just. Hey. If we didn't introduce people, that is also your role on this show. You're yeah, just, just you're just the curmudgeon. Yeah. The words are on the hoodie. Yeah. 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 Correct. Is that what that? It means the hate. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah it does. Man, wow! Pretty I didn't. Cool. That's like so full circle. That's like there's so many layers in what we just did right I know, now, dude. We're that's crazy. We're very intelligent people, for sure. That's <laughs> I would say we're the most intelligent that we know. Yeah. Like uh, in terms of like scientists and uh, teachers and scholars, we're probably in the top twenty percent of like that whole crew. I could easily like do science better than most scientists. Dude, I do science so good. Yeah, it's like all the time, every day. I don't ever stop. Right. Einstein doesn't have shit on me, man. Yeah. No, I mean, he's dead as fuck. You fuck him. Thanks. He's fucking idiot. He doesn't have a brain. Literally, literally brainless. (laughs) And by this this point, well, they literally brain dead. (laughs) No, someone probably took his brain dead. Someone probably took his brain. Like, do you think that high profile people like that, like they've, they've took, you know what I mean? Like, they're, they've wrapped them up, and they're like, this is... We'll so put Einstein over here, just in case we need to, like, mess with him. I don't know if they thought like that back then. Back then? That was, like, 100 years ago. What are you talking about? Yeah, that's a long time ago. It's not that long ago. In terms of how many years have happened, it's not that long. Oh, well, yeah, but, like, in terms of human life, it, it's pretty long. It goes ago. back to, like, that Walt Disney thing, though, you know? Yeah, right. Yeah, but, like, Walt Disney was, like, a weirdo. Yeah, he probably like was. Einstein. Yeah, that guy's a big Einstein weirdo. was not nearly as rich yeah. as Walt Disney. Yeah, that's what, true. No, but I'm saying like significant figures, like pe- people. Some of them might, like, but like I feel like Einstein was like, he, he's just like a professor at the time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but he was the professor that was like working on the atom bomb, or not? He yeah, but like, there's like hundreds of those. Yeah, boy, he was like th- the guy that people recorded and was like, oh, I know that guy. Like, if you know astronauts, you know Neil Armstrong. Bro, I just think if you know I, scientists, you know Einstein. I just don't think, like, the smart ones are also, the ones who are going to get saved. I think it's, like, the rich ones. Well, they would. the rich ones would save the smart ones to, the like, tinker around. The rich ones would save themselves. Let's no. be honest. Right, but he's, like, think True. about him as, like, a really sharp tool. Like, they would use him after... We have to freeze this brain so that yeah. we have a brain that can figure out how to revive my brain. Right. That's what I'm saying. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. You know? Kyle, what do you think? 
I mean, this just goes back to the original question. Chicken or the egg? The conversation. What? Like, what, conversation? Is, what are we talking about? It's all in the brain, man. Yeah. Is that true? I guess it is. Well, I mean, it's in the life. <laughs> you have to talk to people. A conversation with yourself could be in your brain. What the yeah. fuck? No. What? I mean, it's... <clears throat> so going back on Kyle movies... Kyle just talks so to go, So going Kyle. back on movies, guys. Kyle's just sitting there talking about... I only have conversations in my brain. Yeah. He's just sitting there having... <laughs> he's just sitting there silent. Just talking I'm to himself a podcast constantly. With myself. Mm-hmm. Just, you know, we as you should be. Kyle cast, dude. Just you're the Kyle cast. Just the screen yeah. talking to yourself. Like, yeah. You're not actually, like saying the words though it's just in your head <laughs> just you're just sitting there funny. blankly staring you, at the you guys ever watch that guy he would just meditate he would hours on end. he had like a youtube channel he would just sit on his floor and meditate is it like a live stream he, he, kind of i think that they were alive yeah but the they, one they like there was like alive. hundreds of them somebody breaks into his house while he's sitting there and he doesn't break like the meditation whoa and they just take him and like he runs no he run like away. he like do you know see? what the name is uh, i don't no. know no, but um, this sounds like a, that house, could be a like, script. I could see that. Was it like a fan who broke into the house, or like we? It just sounds fake to me. I don't like, know. I, I've been on but the that's internet. what I'm Dude, saying. It sounds like a script. It sounds <laughs> fake. It sounds the, like made the, up, like a like a publicity stunt. The yeah. thing is, with that is like you can we're talking about it you here. You can skip through the uh, videos point. and you'll hear like his neighbors and stuff because he lives in like an apartment building. People above him and stuff. So it's all, it looks like it's all I live. mean, we got three people to do this. I feel like right. you can at least yeah. get, like, yeah. five people to do that. Like, I feel just it's very it fakeable. Out. There's, like, yeah. that yeah, one what's thing, that? Like, you, like, that, I think you might have sent me it at some point where, like, the, the, like, kids with the skateboard, like, stopped the robbery. Oh, that's, yeah. That was a publicity stunt. Oh, yeah, yeah that's definitely, yeah. it definitely seems, like. And it like, looks very real, but, like, it totally It's, like, fake. too good, too good to be true sort of thing. Or, like, too perfect. Right. Sort of. Like, yeah. storybook. What's that, what's that called? When you shoot stuff that's fake? Gorilla? Huh? Oh, what do found you found footage? Say? Kind of, but it's like <clears throat> it's with the intent for it to look real, but it is fake. There's a there's a certain name for it. Gonzo? I don't know. What you're talking no, about. Like, it would be like it's not gorilla, but I think I know what you're saying. No, like like Alan tutorial. If you ever watched Alan tutorial, like that was that's kind of like the same vibe. Or like the mm-hmm. creeper in the apartment. You ever hear of that video? I think I know what you're saying. Where it's like it's it's like in like a it's like a uh, like a wrestler reality like it's like pretty much yeah like it's like our world but like they're like playing right yeah yeah but like like as a viewer you can't really tell like obviously is wrestling you yeah can tell but yeah that's a name maybe maybe young guy should look it up well would it be like paranormal activity is that what you're talking about well what would paranormal activity just found footage but but like paranormal activity and like the blair witch project are like both horror you know what i mean right they're kind of like they're like that vibe, but it's like within a genre. Like yeah. you know, it's fake. Right. Like it doesn't presuppose. Like I, I feel like it doesn't. It's not the same. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like because like. Well, it wouldn't be the same as like a YouTube video. Right, but that's what I mean. Though. Yeah. Because it's like everybody knows that it's like. Right. Yeah, and like honestly, those prank videos. That's kind of like they're trying to pass them off. Like it's like. Right. It's more thing. like yeah. yeah it's exactly. more like a, like it's a like, shitty yeah. Joey the, Salad yeah. video. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, the other day. Which is insane to me, like the, the social experiment, like phase of mm-hmm. like, YouTube and like internet oh, culture. Dude, like, dude, I I had I had like a memory on my Snapchat that was like literally. I think I might have even sent it to you, not like when I got the memory, but like back in the day. Like I think I sent it to like Dylan and stuff, and you. Dylan. Um, uh, and like, fuck, dude, somebody was giving a presentation with the Joey Salads, uh, social experiment about like. Black Lives Matter. Oh, yes. As gross. like yes. A, literally like as as evidence in a presentation. And I was like, what what the fuck is yeah. going on? Dude, like did they take it as like am I in the this twilight? is evidence? <laughs> yes, they oh, did, yeah. dude. They literally That's thought right. it was like a legitimate social <laughs> experiment. So like, dude, if it, like I, I don't even understand, dude. It, and it used to, like like you remember he had that one video where like he went and he was like he put like a Trump sticker on a car, and then he just basically just had a bunch of like black guys. Like he paid, like he literally. Yeah, yeah they like paid destroy his car, destroy right? The car. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah they like, dude, smash they, it up. Yeah. The one guy That's brings hilarious. like a big pole. Yeah, like, it was just so <laughs> fake. Yeah. It was just yeah, but, like people and like twelve year olds like believe it. Yeah. yeah, there was a video that came out after somebody really like called. up top, and they were recording a Snapchat, and you see them all on the side, like behind the camera. With right, like, right. With, like, weapons and stuff. Yeah, like, just, like, you see, like, for you see, like, Joey Salads in front of the car. Yeah, waiting for yeah. the act. Yeah, it's actually just... Yeah. That's such an insane time, because... I don't How much know. money that guy got off of just... 
that oh he's fun, he's the used car salesman of youtube that's like that yeah, dude yeah, fucking, yeah totally yeah that's a good he did, fucking, he did the same thing forever and just got so i mean he's kind of irrelevant just now just milked it because i feel like i feel like like it's a different like landscape now yeah yeah well and it's i, I feel like respect that though too like the, yeah respect, the hustle, like, yeah the hustle. i mean i can't help but not well, you it's know, it, a lot of it is how he has, would know, respond you, to it. I mean, I, I don't even care about like how much money he made. I'm just yeah. saying no. like like how people believe that shit is insane mm-hmm. to me. Well, no, it's like, it's, it's really just how hard. he responds to the the um, backlash because all these videos are supposed to be like, you know, inciting some sort of like emotion for people right. where they're like, Mah. so it's like if how he responds to that will only raise or lower his like stock. So like Jake Ball is like a guy that like rode the wave of people hating him so much to where he's fucking fighting for Floyd Mayweather now. Right. Yeah, like exactly. it's like well, I think the, but Joey Salas is just not as good well, as think, Jake Paul. No, but I think Joey Salas thing was like also like the political angle. People would like he did, go yeah. there. People yeah. would go there and be like, "Oh, look, this is proof that yeah. people don't like Trump supporters." Or like, yeah. "Oh, look, like this validates exactly. my already right. established world." Like, right. like you know, like Jake Paul's not as political. He's just, well, he's like, not. He's personal. fake. Like, he's he, fake for dumb shit and not yeah. shit that like that's that was probably why it didn't work as well because it was such like a like a sensitive issue well, that dude, Joy like South was doing. Twenty sixteen too, like yeah. it was a different like it was that's like, true. Yeah. It was like also, a crazy time. You got to think about like his audience. Well, that's what like I'm the, saying. The people that appeal like Joey yeah. Salads are probably like, you know, young adults. Mm-hmm. Right, and then Jake Paul is like Jake Paul is like 12-year-old like yeah, yeah. girls, you know? Yeah. It's just, would it be, yeah, would you say that? I mean, I mean maybe not 12. Could, well, but, people who like are still 12. But yeah. like during the yeah. whole Vine phase, like I remember watching like the Paul brothers on Vine. I, yeah. Vine was a thing. No, yeah, well, dude, they, went, they had business, Around that like, same time, skits. they went through like that yeah. really bad... Uh, like publicity, like over and over again, like the whole like the oh, forest the suicide thing. forest, yeah, all oh, yeah. that stuff, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was right stuff. after Vine left, I believe. Like was like that yeah. whole no, when he they transitioned, transitioned to YouTube after they tra- like, yeah. the YouTube is when they really got like bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's because that's probably as like they had to push the envelope more and more. Well, it's like you get to the like when they were on Vine, we disrespected. Were, you know, we would have been like, disrespecting early people. high school. Like, yeah. So we would have been their like target audience yeah. when they were on Vine. Yeah. And I'm, then, I'm like, sure I've know, liked one YouTube of their posts. In, like 2017 or 2016 or whatever, and it just got worse. Yeah. I mean, that's it's it's a gross like that whole environment like that David Dobrik's is like it's just so like vague. Like it's and like gross. vlog culture almost. Yeah. Like, yeah it's it's so, like the yeah. scoop of my super fake life. Yeah. Yeah. Like this is how lavish I live. Mm. Yeah, it's so weird. Like I like, bought my friend a Lamborghini. Yeah. Like, well, and that'll get three, 34 million views, 100%. and then that'll it's be like, able to, like... Yeah, it could be, like, just fake charity, too. Just yeah. going back on Joey Salads, like, I bought my friend a free Trump sticker. Oh, yeah. Ago. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. maybe. I don't know. I'm just free Trump. Is, yeah. But, like, my... That's so fucking stupid. Like, fuck, like, I always want to... When somebody brings up David Dobrik, I think of the Meat Canyon sketch. Have you seen the yeah. Meat Canyon yeah. video? It's yeah. so... Dude... It's like it's like like I'm gonna buy my friend eighteen Lamborghinis. Yeah. Like, like what? What? We have any idea of the insurance on that? Like I don't want this, dude. No. It's like you're gonna. T- you've never seen it? No, I have seen it. Oh, I know it. I'm agreeing. With, like I yeah, don't. I wouldn't it's want like that. Just insane. Like it's like it's obviously so like. I don't know. Contrived. I guess. No, it's I, like really I love shitty. I love what uh, what Meat Canyon does. With, Meat Canyon like, just hilarious. exposing this. I, I shout haven't out. watched the Nikocado avocado one. That's yet. fair. That's a good That's shout fair. out. No, me can't. But, wait, but, but, if, you, so, dude, but if you watch this, I honestly don't know what you're talking the, about. You don't Meat know? Canyon? You don't know Meat Canyon? Oh, you don't know Meat Canyon? Oh, don't know Meat Canyon? Pull, no. pull it up. Pull it up. Actually, pull up. This is good. This is worth it. Pull up Meat Canyon. This is like what podcast? Pull up the original Bugs Bunny one. Like, that's the classic one. Is this. So, what is like. It's like. I don't even know. Is it just like a parody? Yeah, yeah. It's this like one? Oh, animations, God. bro. Are we yeah. going to are we gonna have to, like, mute it or something? No, no, no. no, no. Be very, very quiet. Oh, Jesus. They're so <laughs> creepy. <laughs> There's something about the gums. <laughs> What's up, Doc? You can turn it down a little bit. A tight little man pussy. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> you one of those? It's one of these. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god but dude i mean if you, the, the david dobrik one is like it's oh not as classic god. as this but like it's really funny it, yeah yeah this is like the like psychic pebbles type like humor 
You know, it's like a, uh, it's a little bit more dark. It's a, yeah, little, it's a little bit more dark. dark. Well, it's in like that vein. Dude, the Garfield this, one. Have you seen the Garfield? Oh, the so Garfield bad. one is. Yeah. Oh yeah. god, it's so funny. Mean Canyon is like when you watch it, you kind of don't want to go to sleep because yeah. of the nightmares you'll have. Right. And you also feel bad a little bit I about them laughing. So funny, though, but they are they're hilarious. So funny. But they, I'm also they, just they, desensitized they, and they're like, so humor shot. They're so funny. So funny. I I always like was like that with um the Happy Tree Friend shit. Oh yeah, yeah, like, yeah you, exactly. I was. Where I would, yeah. I would watch it. and I'd be like, "This is like you could do that." Like the people are like, "Okay," like people are fine with this, and it's like it. I guess no one could tell them they couldn't do it. Exactly. And I did watch it, so it's not like you know. Yeah, I watched that when I was really audience. young. The, yeah, I, it was bad. The, yeah. For I, how Me Kane is just a good example of parody, though, too. Yeah. Yes. Because like I like I think the artistic like style of it too like it really like accentuates like. The, it's almost like caricature art, mm-hmm. but then they put it in like a dark context. So it's like it's making fun of like the people and what they do. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, right. It's like a good style. Like the it. artist that created it. Is yeah, what you're saying. Yeah, he's good at like replicating like the mannerism. Oh like, yeah. The, like the like the whole like culture around it. like the David Overcom for example mm-hmm. is like they have like this total like upbeat attitude, but it's like it gets like really dark. Like you're gonna fucking accept the Lamborghinis. Like mm-hmm. you're gonna, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. like, My God, I need it for this vlog. Like, yeah. you know, like that kind of thing. So right. I, like, I, I don't know. I, it, it just whenever I think of David Dobrik, I think of that video because it's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. Well, that's what that's what it needs. That's what a video needs to like get to Brody. I feel like it has to like be like just something terrifying to like the layman. Yeah. And it'd just be like that's good. that's a good one. It, like dude, I saw, like, I so like what good. they did. I love I yeah, love right? Canyon video. I love them. They're really good. It's great content. It's from the best content Shout on out. YouTube right now. Shout out B Canyon. I now know and I'm terrified. All right, I I'll throw a sub. I could I would yeah, throw a sub on. They're actually sub for you. Yeah, they're like sub for you. So yeah, funny. I'm I'm signed in. Oh, it's DPI man. <laughs> Kyle cannot figure out how to use this DPI. Wait, no, you, that's not him. That's not no, him, it's bro. not him. It is. It is. No, 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 it's no, not. It's not, no, it's that's not. Mr. Bruh. Me can you, no, because this is no a shout movie. out to Mr. Warner Bruh. Brothers took the Bugs Bunny video down originally. Oh, of yeah, course, for obvious, for obvious. Yeah, three point five eight million subs. God damn, well deserved. Yeah. Do you know? Um, have you heard of Felix Colgrave or Cosgrave or something? I, don't believe so. that guy so, no. that that the guy has like some of the same like Style. crazy creepy um, yeah because if you look up um just look if you look up felix colgrave or cosgrave i would i want to see a reaction to the one yeah first one uh if you go to just his channel it's like one of his more popular ones yeah if you go to videos uh down 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 who the one I man spaghetti. Where's that? On right, top right. right. You have it. You have it. Though. This DP. I'm not yeah. kidding about the DPI guys. <laughs> yeah, this shit is. It's like that same like salad fingers fucking. Is it the guy who shit? did salad fingers? No, I no, think it's a different was, guy. I don't know his name. Cause doesn't that guy still make shit? Yeah, he does work for like Adult Swim a lot. Or yeah. he did. That makes sense. Yeah. Right. But yeah, this shit is nuts. And it's only like two minutes long, but like the animation is so like yeah yeah like, yeah, all yeah over the animation I can see the analog yeah. with mm-hmm. Meat Canyon yeah super detailed gross shit and like penis stuff. Whoa, that's how you know. Yeah, yep. Blood and skulls. What? Yeah, dude. Shit's the fucking fuck? nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Like, what even is happening? And it lives again, of course. And then, uh, yep. That was a work of art. Yeah, dude. <laughs> and it's just... Oh, God. Wow. It's like Akira. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, dude, it's Akira. Yeah, yeah. But just like the art style and... Yeah. All this shit is yeah, so it's crazy. Insane. It's so long between his like uploads too. Yeah. All well, they, 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 they all so do that. Long. They all take time. Yeah. The giraffe, of course. Yeah. Man, yeah, that's that great. Yeah. That's shit's really, fucking weird. Really insane. Yeah. yeah. Really. Twenty twelve. That's what I'm saying, dude. That one's from twenty twelve. Yeah, that's what oh. it says. I was oh, all. Decent. That was all that whole era for me. It was just weird shit like that. Like, you yeah, weren't a Joey yeah. Salads guy. No. 
You're no. a man spaghetti kind of guy. Yeah. Man spaghetti. Yeah. I love man spaghetti. You were in a social experiment no. kind of viewer. Kind uh, of <laughs> well, the, you know, I love it a good, uh, what's her name? Lele Pons video? No, I'm just kidding. I love Lele Pons. Familiar, but I actually forget who she was. Yeah, you I don't know? So. She's gross and annoying. But Lady it's fine. Vine. I don't want to give her any. Was she another Viner? Who yeah. Not, yeah, not a shout out. One of those. One of not those, a, like, This is the opposite <laughs> of a yeah. shout out. Unshout out. Oh, this is a shout. Fuck you. This is a shout in. <laughs> shout in. Shout in. Shout in. Shout at. I'm gonna yell at them. That's what it is. Where we at? Where we at? Time wise, Kyle. What? Are we, where are we at? Thirty-four. 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 Okay. Yeah. We're getting there. Yeah. yeah. It's going smooth. Right. So you guys. Nice. Uh, you guys watch Dune yet or what? No. We didn't watch Dune. No. Neither of you. No. Interesting. I have a. What do you think? Give us a non. Give us a non spoiler. Um, Super non spoiler. Yeah, I'll keep it to for the, the audience the, as well. The world building was fantastic. Honestly, mm-hmm. seemed like I love a good world building. Yeah, yeah. I didn't read the book. Session. I don't think I ever will. There's like five or six of them. It's too many. There's a lot of. Books. There's a lot of it's them. Too many words. Um, it's a lot of words. I'm not. Yeah. Uh. Um, I'm. A, I mean, I'm a big fan of uh, Denny Villeneuve. 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 Denny Villeneuve. I knew you were going to fuck that up. So I, I tried to get you. Do you, you know what it is? Up. Is that what it is? Villeneuve. Yeah. Villeneuve. yeah. yeah. French Canadian, right? Yeah. 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 I said uh, um, Villeneuve a lot. Yeah, it's not Villeneuve, I don't think. I think it's just Villeneuve. Uh, my buddy Eric made a good point saying... Um, Eric. That's a shout out. Yeah, shout, shout out. out. <laughs> that is Eric. a shout out. Eric. <laughs> um, he, he just kind of compared it to like Blade Runner. In mm-hmm. aspects well, of he, well, he kinda... did Blade Runner twenty forty nine. No, exactly. Oh, is that what you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And well, they're both sci- uh, they're both sci fi too. Yeah, and, exactly. Like, and then if you've seen like Arrival, yeah, they are yeah. all kind of like that kind of shot. Yeah. That's like he's a good pick for the director. Yes, yeah. like yeah. based yes. on like his work in the yes. past. It makes you know? sense. He's a good pick. Yeah. Well, he's the only. I one... I say that having never read the books too. But well, like, you know what I mean. Yeah, like, you kind of get that vibe. Well, he's um, definitely too. Like as far as like an epic goes, like you pretty much have like Christopher Nolan. And, like, James Cameron, who's not going to work on anything you want him to make. Like, he's, like, the only one that, like, makes sense to be hired for that right, specific right. movie. Well, he said he was going to do three, too. Yeah. He said he wanted no, to do sense. three. Which, like, I don't know how I feel about that. I'd have to watch the movie to know well, how I feel about it. Because like, he's really going... good at, like, other like other movies. I loved Arrival. I was one of my yeah, yeah Arrival's up there. But, yeah, like, really if you good. watch Sicario, that's, like, completely different, in a way. Of, no, like, I really like Sicario. Shit was too. Pris- Sicario Prisoners. Awesome. Yeah. Prisoners, I heard, yeah. is like top five. I haven't of seen Prisoners. Um, I watched. I do want to mention enemy. that I like. I don't know if it would have been like a budget issue or anything, but it seemed like it should have been the show. Like the Dune? Some, like pick yeah, yeah picked up by HBO or something just with like, like the cliffhanger. Talking about stuff? Prisoners or Dune? no 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 Dune. Yeah, yeah, well Dune, you're never gonna like in a three part movie, you're never gonna get six books. Yeah. Well, exactly. A you're, lot of people, like, a lot of people, uh, like the fans of the books, also say that. It's like unadaptable. You can't, like, you yeah, can't yeah, make you can't it into it. a movie. And people but... have tried. It's been tried three times. Now, yeah, great. David Lynch two was of them one of like, them, fucking, and there's two more. Up. There's two more. So David Lynch is just a weird one to do a franchise or like an epic. Yeah, that's the thing. That. Yeah, dude, that's that's the thing with that, like some studio yeah. fucked up along the way. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I don't know why. Well, but that's why I mean, like Christopher Nolan is like the only other like studio guy. That's like making gi- giant epic movies. Yeah. Like it's like like I said, like James Cameron's not gonna do shit. Maybe Steven Spielberg would do it, and then probably like fuck it up, sorta, or like just make it like really shot really well, and then just have it like no substance anymore. Yeah. Like that's pretty yeah. much. Yeah. I mean, that's Steven his Spielberg's last thing. Right? Yeah. His last couple of years have been just like, hey, what look has at he this. Done, I even. couldn't. Like, what? I I don't even remember. Like like since like, it's Ready Player One, Indiana Jones. Movie. Yeah, was that his last? He was Ready, Ready Player, Player One, one? Oh. and he's doing West Side Story this year. And oh, he is. It looks really well shot, but it also looks that, fine. For like, me, I feel like that's like the bare minimum yeah. for like a studio picture. Mm-hmm. Like, like when somebody says like, "Oh, this movie is like really well shot," I'm like, oh, "Like, of course." So it, it wasn't dude. good. They had like, yeah, right. Like, yeah. It, like that's all you have to say. If yeah. that's all you have to say about like a a movie with uh, like the kind of budget that I'm sure Steven Spielberg got, like mm-hmm. you're like fucking around. Like it's like yeah. terrible. Yeah. Like there's that one, like also there's that one, like like for Eternals, that one Angelina Jolie clip coming, where yep. like she's just totally animated for the whole time, and they make this like terrible cut, yeah, and people are like, oh, it looks so good. It's like, what are you talking about, dude? Oh, yeah. it, it it looks clean, but yeah. it doesn't look good. You're, talk, like you're talking about the Eternals, yeah. When I was uh, when we were in the theater for Dune, like a preview of it came on. I shit you not, it was like three and a half minutes long. 
Yeah, dude, it's it, like, it's so it, weird. Like, why? Like, I, I, I just like I don't get it. Like, like I don't Nomad know why you need Land? three minute long. How trailers? does Nomad Land like win the best picture? A, B, like it's like. W- did you like, watch it? Yeah, I did not. Like no, it, yeah. I, like, it was uh, pretentious in my opinion. Mm-hmm. But that's besides like the Oscar point. shit. It was Oscar bait, yeah. yeah. And it it just felt weird. I, like I don't know. I it just felt like. They were cosplaying poor people. It was mm-hmm. really strange. Which that is, yeah, that is, that is the what idea. they're doing. And then they try to like, <laughs> that is, shoo- yes, you're they, cosplaying poor people. And it's like, dude, they tried to like shoehorn in a story at the yeah. end, and it was like really weird and bizarre, and like never had been alluded to. Mm-hmm. And it was just for like the, it was too gimmicky because like the whole thing was like, oh, we shot it with real Americans. It's like cool. They're terrible actors. A, B, you didn't like talk about them. It was just yeah. all about like this made up tragedy of. Uh, Francis McDermott's character. Right. And then, like, they try to shoehorn a story in at the end, and it's like, uh, what? Well, where did this come from? Mm. It, it seemed to come out of nowhere. Yeah. yeah. But, like, I don't think it was best picture. But, like, to be fair, I, I feel like movies in general were pretty weak last year anyway. I do. But, anyways, why you. I, I feel like that's a downgrade to move to a Marvel movie after winning best picture. Like, what the hell, dude? No, like, I you agree. might have cleared a lot of money and good for you. Like, whatever. that's what it's all about. It's, well, it's totally about it's money, a like, lot of selling out. I don't want to say it's selling out because I. Can't say I would not do that. Oh, I would totally do it. You, you know, know but just a fun fact for you guys: Guy Ritchie made Aladdin. I don't yeah, know if you knew that. That's interesting. But, he also but made then guess what? Shitty, uh, that shitty like King Arthur movie right beforehand. Too. Right. No, but the, that's what I mean. Is like, so he got probably given that script. He got given Aladdin. He was like, "All right, I'll do this. Make fucking bank." And then he makes The Gentleman or I've whatever. Still not seen. I haven't, I haven't either. It sounds. It looks really good. It looks From all the good. clips, I've it heard, looks I've solid. Heard things. I feel like, like I it was one of those it. movies that came out. Was that did it like come out at the beginning of COVID and like that kind of fuck with everything? The general? No, it was end of twenty nineteen. Oh. Yeah, it was. It was it's got to be end of twenty nineteen. Well, a little bit I, before. Because the one movie that kind of I've been looking. You up. know, there, there was like a Kingsman prequel that they were making. Yeah, yeah. and like yeah. that totally got like never. I never got. That's December out. of this year. Never got into oh, any of those. Oh, that's crazy. Like the Kingsman mm-hmm. and all that. I think they're pretty good. That's the guy who like he did Kick Ass. Oh, for real? Yeah, I don't. I don't. No, they're good. The Kingsman, they're solid. I mean, they're not like... No, they're not great. I just like, I was like thinking, I I don't remember if it was The Gentleman or Mm -hmm. Kingsman. Because like, the aesthetic is kind of similar. Yeah, it seems like it's kind of like the whole vibe of it is, I hate that word, but uh, is just like fun. Yeah. It just seemed like really fun movies. I just... Well, um, it doesn't take itself seriously. You could, like, that's like the, I think the thing with um, the Kingsman series that like people like is it's like James Bond if he was like, Knew if he was in on the joke, like yes. that seems right. Like, like the whole time, himself super serious. Yeah, yeah, like it's just like look at this dumb shit. The like, first that was one funny. was really good. The second one wasn't as good. Yeah. But like I thought the first one was really good. Well, they played into the whole um, action scenes. I feel like in the second one, from yeah, what I, I saw, and the fir- do the first the church scene in the first yeah. one is one of the best action scenes ever. No, seen. I I agree. But so that's what insane. I'm saying is like the second one. It seemed like they were more like, hey, look at these celebrities. They weren't as selective. Then, well, they just made cool action scenes, and they were like, oh, yeah, story has to also happen. Right. And then they but, just... But that's what I mean. Like, the first one, they were more story selective. Story also has to happen. Like, they had really cool peaks right. in the action, but there was yeah. also something underlying it. Mm-hmm. But it was probably... Sense. That's the thing with the uh, original scripts, though, is, like, those are always the better idea. Like, when that, they, like, just... Is they're, actually, like... I like making this, and then they, whatever. I believe it's an adaptation from was a comic it? book, actually, yeah. Well, but that's, so a guy made a comic book, and was like, I really like this idea, I want to do this, and then blah, blah. Right, I'm, I'm just If saying, they faithfully I'm adapt saying. it, then it, it shows. No, yeah, totally. So. No, and it is a very in- interesting concept. Yeah. Right. But. What was, uh like, the last, you know, really good movie you guys have seen? Really good? Yeah, like, what's well, the Do the Right of... Thing recently, and that was fine. Do the Right Thing? Yeah, it was okay. Yeah. The last really good movie I've seen... I probably give do the right thing six I, and a half. I don't remember. I gotta like six and a half. I gotta, seven. Look, I gotta like look through the letterbox. The best. It was fine. Like, I yeah. enjoyed it. What are you saying? I'm sorry. I'd like have to go look. I'm like not really sure. I, on the Halloween. Was last time you went to theaters? I've not been to a theater in a long time. Like since COVID, you still yeah, haven't yeah. gone. Well, I've really? seen new movies though. Which ones have you seen? Like I just watched the Medium on Halloween. Thai. Or, I don't even know slash Korean horror movie. Uh, I feel like, have you seen The Wailing? The Wailing. Oh man. No. You're just really on a different good. wave. I'm yeah, totally I also have not seen wave. The Wailing. I've heard it's Dude, great. It's East, a little long East for me, East Asian though. horror is mm-hmm. so good. So yeah. much better than, like, um, like Western horror movies. Yeah. yeah. It, it, like, The Wailing is one of the best horror movies ever. And yeah. then the same producer, right. who's a Korean producer, they they went to Thailand and made one about 
like it's kind of like a full core type of movie. Right. Um, it's a lot about like their like 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 shamanism and stuff. Mm-hmm. And you know, I mean, it, it it does play out like a typical horror movie in yeah. a lot of ways. And it's like there's like a documentary crew, so it's like somewhat found footage, but also like uh, not found footage. Okay. It's hard to explain. Um, but it's, it's, like, it's, it's like good. It's like it, 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 you know, if I were to compare it to anything, um, it would be like. Uh, in like a Asian version of like the witch kind of yeah where I it's just, like it's more atmospheric like more atmospheric so like. than like jump scare yeah yes. like I which just is, watched the witch I like, think the key to good horror yeah is that like approach well it's a vibe yeah, that yeah. you gotta create a vibe the atmosphere of just like this, like a weirdness and like a discomfort I yeah. think is way more effective like if you watch like the witch yeah. and I don't think lighthouse is horror but like if you watch the lighthouse more it's thriller. all about establish yeah. yeah but it's yes. all about establishing like this like discomfort and like uh, like in the lighthouse mm-hmm. for example like the sound design in it really effective at Super like creating like, a suspenseful like like a kind of a dread mm-hmm. more than like uh like oh jump scare and the um, aspect ratio yeah. from being like the box Tight, it, yeah, like, yeah, it, yeah. Fe- it feels like more like they're trapped on the actual yeah. but like I, like thing. like watching like asian horror movies and black and white is, is this movie. kind of like every like if if like if like the popular horror movie in america mm-hmm. is like saw like imagine like in Korea or like Thailand, the popular horror movie is The Witch. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like to me, at least in my like, in, from what I've seen, and like, I mean, obviously, I don't know what their market is like, but mm-hmm. like, it's like they lean more towards that like kind of folk atmospheric like right. establishment of like tension and and stuff like that. And I find it way more interesting. Like, yeah. I thought the medium was really good. The Wailing is one of my favorite horror movies of all time. Well, I think they definitely like have more hits than we do, though, in terms of like. Like, movies that Hollywood produces versus movies that Korea produces that are, like, the ones to watch every year. Like that's they're just better. Well, that's no, the thing. No, they're totally they... just better because they're not played by the same studios as well, yeah. right. we are. They have yeah. a... Apparently, they're... For this is from what I've heard, so this is unconfirmed. But the, the movie studios own the theaters for certain movies. So, like, you'll have, like, a Paramount studio. And, like, you would go and watch movies at the Paramount Theater... And then you get all their right. stuff, and then they have an incentive to make those movies good because you would want to go to their theater. Right. So right, now right. they don't even have to make movies good; they just have to make a movie, and then they just, you know, people that go out on Friday to the weekend, well, fr- Friday to the movies. It's interesting too because they it's just like, eat up garbage, I and mean, they're like, "Movies suck," and it's like, "Well, that's just because you go to the trough." And you, you were like, "Why is this not good food?" Yeah, but it's also like I mean, for me, like. I think everything that I've seen from Korea is a lot better than the shit that Hollywood makes. But well, that's like, what I'm saying. You wonder, I wonder at the same time, like, do we just see the cream of the crop? And we don't see their shit. But we don't, we don't see the cream there. of the crop over here. No, what, uh, what well, no but I'm saying, like, I, like okay, like, imagine if, like, you took all the shady movies that came out this year, and let's be honest, there's been a lot. Yeah. And then, like, you filtered through it, mm-hmm. and the only thing that we sent somewhere else was, like, Licorice Pizza, The French Dispatch, yeah. and, like... Um, last night in Soho. Like, well, imagine if, like, that's the only thing that other people saw. Because it's, like, obviously, right. like, Parasite, like, for example, the big, like, the one that, mm-hmm. like, made big, like, that was, like, like, a watershed moment. Like, mm-hmm. that, like you don't get a lot of Korean movies that As come far as recognition goes. Yeah. yeah. Like, exactly. that are super popular. Yeah. So, it's, like, it's, I wonder how much of it is, like, we just get the cream of the crop and they still, you know, they still might be making shit. Yeah. You know, but, like, I don't know. But, but even if they're producing seen, more, and then more of it is good and more of it is shit, right. that's, and then that's still, better no, than I totally agree. what we're doing here. I'm, you know me, I'm all in on, like, yeah. Yeah, I've been for a long time. Like, yeah. Old Boy is my favorite movie yeah. for, like, the longest It's time. also insane how much competition Parasite had. 2019 yeah. was oh, yeah. fucking insane. Was good, was that was the, movie. one insane. of the best years in, like, ever, like five, ten years. Well, yeah. and looking yeah. at how yeah. shitty 2020 and 2021 are shaping up to be. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, they just, this whole, this roadblock of the pandemic to, like, shut down so many productions. And especially, like, you think about the independent market that got fucked because oh, totally of this. Fucked, yeah. Dude, the, every production was like, all right, we're out of money. We're going on. We're yeah. done. And it really sucks, too, yeah. because, like. Those I are probably like, good movies. I feel, well, <laughs> and I also, I feel like 2019 being so good. Yeah. And part of Parasite's success kind of would have in another circumstance maybe created a better market. momentum yeah. yeah momentum for like an independent mm-hmm. like not like a non-franchise idea right, right. like because like everything has to have a franchise everything has to be able to sell merch everything has to be able to like sell tickets obviously mm-hmm. but like like parasite being good could have been um or parasite winning and being like culturally relevant mm. could have gone a long way in like encouraging original scripts right. rather than like franchise ideas right which could have like really done a lot but then the pandemic goes and it's like Obviously, the independent ones are going to be hit harder because mm-hmm. they're smaller budget and they rely on smaller things. Mm-hmm. Um, 
and the studios are going to be more impervious to the effects mm -hmm. and they're going to create um you know they're going to keep pumping out things like eternals or whatever which mm -hmm. have not done well I, and i do also think though like i, I don't like i think it's probably like going to be shaft. used it's probably going to be used as like an excuse yeah more than anything oh 100 you know what i mean like i don't yeah. think it's like a very valid idea that because like things are harder that like things like independent like there's no room for them i think that there is a market for them mm -hmm. and i think it's been proven before but would you say with nomad land was that do you know if that was an original script like was that a because it was that an independent know, movie i'm pretty sure it was i think it no, was I, it might have been independent but i I thought it was was it, was there association with like A twenty four? I don't remember. I believe so. I I didn't. But even I never still, watched it. like that. No, I mean A twenty four support like smaller budget stuff. Um, is that did your thing turn off? No, I hit uh, I hit a wrong button. Oh, okay. Oh, that's okay. We're good. Does all it, right. everything is all the cameras are on? Oh yeah. Okay. But like I mean, even maybe No Man Land was like a carryover of that momentum. Yeah. In some sense, because right. like it would have been the beginning of twenty twenty when it won. Mm -hmm. So that movie would have been released in twenty nineteen. Right. So you know what I mean? Like so. Yeah. Yeah, oh, and then, but that, that was that. To my point is that that would be like, would that not be the same sort of watershed moment? Only because it's from like it's one of the American ones. No, that, I mean, like, well, I just think I was saying it was a watershed moment for Korea. Wait, just you yeah, know to what I be mean? recognized like, over for here. For Korea to be recognized yeah, over here, yeah. I wasn't really talking about like independent movies right. being recognized. Well, because I feel like more of my friends talked about Parasite than they talked about No Man Land. Yeah, well, No Man Land wasn't good. That's why. But <laughs> they both won the same thing. That's right. That's, right. Right. Yeah. But that's why, like, those awards don't mean anything to no, me. No, they don't mean no, anything. No, they don't. Because... But they do, they have, like, statistically been proven to, like, improve the market value of a movie. hundred percent. Yeah. So, like, but that's 100%. what I'm saying. I'm not talking but... about, like, I don't care about what, I mean, obviously, I'm sitting right. here saying that No Man Land wasn't very good. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. like, or, it, it, just in my opinion, that's obviously just an opinion, but, like, right. you, but you have to, like, acknowledge that, like, the award, in some sense, is, like, it helps that sort of movie be recognized whether it's like a foreign movie mm -hmm. um i think 2019 was interesting too because um i be wasn't that um uncut gems it? got snubbed uncut gems no, the not, lighthouse, lighthouse, both lighthouse. Got snubbed. no but what was the <coughs> Rafael <coughs> Caron? uh his movie what was that called oh roma roma, roma. so like they had two foreign movies nominated yeah. for best picture, yeah. best picture i believe mm -hmm. so it's like it, it, i still gotta watch that but which, it just looks sad yeah it was it was not sad. It was Doesn't just, look sad. It was kind of meandering. Yeah. I, like, I don't know. It was okay. I, I didn't mind it. You were more of a parasite guy? You know I'm yeah, more I know. of a parasite You already know that I'm more <laughs> of a parasite guy. Just to, by the sound of your voice? Oh, yeah. yeah. Dude, I, before the Parasite was even face. released, I was like, yeah. like hyped for that shit. Because I saw a, that on Wayne. I've been a, a long time other fan. ones that came out this year that I want to watch. Vortex is one of them. That was mm -hmm. Gaspar Noe. Oh, oh yeah. That guy's nuts. Um, the Titan I heard was really good. I, heard I don't know anything about it. Yeah, I, I I wanted to watch Raw with uh, that was the the same people that made Titan? Raw was that made Sounded Titan. Oh, really, for real? really yeah. interesting. I, like my thing with Titan though is like it looks just like it looks wild, bizarre. Well, that's and that's I've never like, been a big fan of body horror though. Yeah, like I'm like I don't is that no, like, is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. See, I don't. I just heard good things. Yeah, well, I like, heard good things, but like I, I think also, she like, like fucks that car. Be, yeah, she does fuck her. Nice, that's, weird. that's but, like, crazy. Nice. I, I don't like fuck the shifting with, like, stick? like surgery scenes and stuff in movies. Oh, I, like, no, I'm I'm the same like, way. Uh, I yeah, don't want to watch. watch. It. I I can watch gore. I can watch whatever. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. surgery scenes or like any of that, I'm like I don't fuck yeah. with it. It's just mm -hmm. gross to me. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I would agree. It gives me like cringe. Like I I don't know what it is for me, but I hate like knives in movies. Like I don't like sword doesn't really matter for me. I don't know why. Like it could be really big. But like if it's like a knife that just like stabs him in the leg or like Connor's knives are scary. He's fuck. crazy. That's why. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> knives are terrible. Knives are scary. But that's what is a sword? Is that would that not be Dude, should that be it's more terrifying? easier to see a sword coming. Yeah. That's fair. You can't yeah. hide a sword. Like if yeah. somebody's walking around with a sword, you know that guy's got a sword. Yeah. And you know, like oh, not, I gotta not stay, every time. I gotta stay extra far carry, away from him. Carry swords like now. Yeah. You know? you know. You never know who has a knife. You never yeah. know who has a sword. I have a knife. No, and a sword. see the point is, is both. like you you always know who is carrying a sword though. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Well, you, unless you they're carrying it in such a way that you don't. Oh, there's like a, it's a retractable sword. A retractable. Yeah, you one could. of those canes, like, uh, oh, the cane yeah. swords. Yeah. Yo, if somebody's got a cane sword, like, You're fine, fucked. you win, bro. It's That's whatever. what I'm saying. It's whatever, dude. Uh, but whatever, I'm not, like, bro. afraid of a cane sword as much as I am a knife. Well, yeah, but knives are, like, they're easier to hide. Like, they can come up. Is it, or is it the idea of a knife that I'm afraid of? Is that what it is? Like, I, the fear, know what you fear mean, that there yeah. could be a knife. That's that's where what I'm afraid of. I'm not afraid of the actual Oh, you're knife. afraid of the potential. You're right. Threat. Right. Like the fact that it could be hidden. Right. And that would increase the fear. It's like why you're more afraid of handguns than like artillery. Yes. Exactly, yeah. 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 Makes sense. Well, but if 
Both of them were pointed at me. I don't know. I'm just afraid. I don't know how much more I'd I would be I'd definitely rather afraid. get shot with a handgun than an artillery piece. Right. So would you be more afraid than the art with the artillery? That's what yeah, you're saying. I, yeah. I, I, we're talking about you, though. I was <laughs> no, just asking no, about, about yeah, I, I would definitely be more afraid of artillery. <laughs> so swords or knives? <laughs> like if Shell I had shots. to pick one. Yeah. No, so swords or knives? What are you more afraid of? Knives, 100%. That's, but that's... So you're saying the opposite is true with well, artillery. What, would I have to pick between getting shot with one or, like, the threat of one? The threat of one. Like, if one was pointed at you I right think, now. Well, so, like, if, if, but like, if there was potential for me to get shot by either, I yeah. definitely would rather get shot by a handgun. Right. I so, would like you be, obvious. do you think you'd be more afraid in a handgun scenario than the artillery scenario? Like, if well, one was pointed at you. Artillery is wild, like, though, because it's like, if you're going to get hit by artillery, like, you don't know when it's fucking coming. Yeah. Right. Like, it just right. might, like, dude, that's like a major but like it's the same with, thing. It's the same with a handgun, you know, it's concealed. A knife is concealed. Yeah. Right, but yeah. I'm saying like they're both so, so like, well, like a better artillery example, is concealed, but artillery is like almost definitely gonna d- just completely obliterate you. Yeah. Well, if it's but, like, like a, a mortar. handgun, if somebody pulls out a handgun and shoots you, there's a chance you I walk think, away. I think a better example would be a handgun or just a fucking giant twelve gauge shotgun. That's what I, no, that. that's more what I meant. Because you'll yeah. you know you right. see. I'm definitely more afraid yeah. of a twelve gauge. Yeah. But you, you aren't more afraid of a sword. Well, you would see that. Uh, obviously, no. it's a gun. Right. But you would see. I would see. Well, if it's sawed off. Then that yeah. you could conceal that. Get a big <laughs> jacket. Fair enough. Fair right. enough. Touche. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's like interesting because it's like I guess like what am I more afraid of it, the potential that it exists? Or like if am I a, more of afraid of if a man. Hit by it? Okay, get, this is the scenario. If a man is in front of you with a hunting rifle pointed at you versus a man p- pointing a handgun at you, what is a more scary scenario in your mind? Probably, well, what kind of hunting rifle? Just bolt any action? like a how like a shot. Let's say bullet action. Let's say uh, bullet. Like, definitely, I'm more afraid of the handgun. Yeah, yeah. Because he could just clock me like thirty yeah. times. Like you know what I mean? Like, right. Sure. So that okay. So in that instance, so okay. So if it was a shotgun, then oh, I would be more afraid to get. I do not want to get shot by a shotgun. <laughs> then that off. Right. That's so terrifying. <laughs> right. That's so scary. So what but, is? See, I feel like a knife is worse than a sword, though. Right. Because like a sword, it's like harder to use. But in terms it's of a like, higher demand for skill, like is like if a guy has a sword, yeah, he's not necessarily going to be able to like cut you in half. No, but, but if a guy has a knife, it's a very low skill floor. Yeah, You're using the knife, dude. Well, he if just it's a sharp freak sword, the fuck out and just like shank you like eighteen times, bro. No, nobody's but, coming at you with like a like a like a great sword. Yeah, like like, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> yeah. like dude, there's, that just doesn't happen. But a knife is just so easy to use. No, you just but, get hit like thirty five times in like twenty seconds. So fall, what would be, collapse. bro? Like that's the thing that happens, bro. Like you got to be really careful like with a knife you're like careful. almost guaranteed to get stabbed yeah yeah like if you're gonna if somebody's approaching you with a knife you're, oh, you're like, fucked you're like you, you gotta accept it at some point you're you gonna be stabbed shield. You, it's not about stopping the stab it's about minimizing the amount of yes. times you get you stabbed, get stabbed. Yes, it's like, exactly. like it's not it's got nothing yeah. to do with like yeah and like you'll see like like fake fucking bullshit like like uh mcdojo martial arts like you stop a I knife attack and yeah because it's like everybody's like ah i'm gonna get you dude a knife attack, like, ah, ah, ah. Yeah, like, yeah. it's just like oh, no. rapid you know what i mean yeah it's pretty bad and but nobody that's goes what, with like one killing blow but like a sword is like hard to use it's like so ungainly. would you compare a sword to a hunting rifle or to no a, because it's just pulling a trigger is all the same it's just right it's just not, a demand it's just for skill either. for a hunting rifle so it's, it's a different it's just a completely different it's thing it's a totally different thing yeah. okay okay yeah so but there isn't like any like assumed fear with a gun because you kind of know what's going on like the the knife plays with the psychological like right. i mean a handgun is similar yeah but like i would say a knife is a little bit more hectic more of a wild card yeah more of a wild card yeah i don't know it's hard to say this is just a thought experiment yeah it's we're totally, not actually gonna do this no, to you no i've not that's why we hired kyle we're gonna do this to kyle, kyle yeah, this is my this is my and then gonna, initiation god which do you hate more <laughs> Should get shot or stabbed? We gotta... (laughs) I think I'd rather get shot. (laughs) Yeah? Really? Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm more afraid of knives than I am guns, For me, it depends on where you're getting shot or stabbed. Yeah. No, that's fair. That's right. That's. I mean, but but knives are like... I feel like the more... You have more of a chance to bleed out from a knife than from a gun. Because well, I feel depends. like it totally if it's a clean shot, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, and it is better and worse for different locations. I just think too. that a knife is a lot more likely, also. So that right. might be kind of my argument. Oh, like more knives. Well, are you out can there. create also, a knife. It's some, hard to create a gun. Three D printers. Yeah. Well, you know, you can. But then you would have to also create a bullet and a, yeah, a gunpowder, flint. But I think that 
there's probably just more people that carry knives. Like even if it's just for you know, well, yeah, there's just less, openings, less like, regulation just using it as a around tool. it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then yeah. you know, if you have a concealed carry and stuff like that, where you have the gun illegally. I use my gun to open my door. If it's like if a <laughs> yeah, Jimmy, just, if my lock doesn't open right away, yeah. I just I use my handgun to open Amazon packages. Yeah, just, <laughs> I shoot it right I down the table. Lock to yeah. just, and it just goes and it rips right down the middle. I mean, sometimes you got to use what's around you, and if all that's around you is a yeah, a bro, gun. it just shows craftiness. Yeah, You're right, right, right. I can use a Glock to shoot people or mm-hmm. packages or, or whatever. Anything you can shoot what's in the package too, but you generally want to keep it because I assume you bought it for a reason. Yeah, true. You know, maybe this might be just too. I, I just ordered a maybe, target. Maybe it's I a just target. Ordered a target. Yeah, I didn't want to say that. <laughs> Unless it's a target. I just ordered a target on Amazon. That's so know. yeah. Right at the door. The guy oh, doesn't even God. have it on his hand yet. Well, either either way. When I hear my ring doorbell, I load my Glock. <laughs> <laughs> the ring doorbell is like, that's what, uh, I don't know. I don't even know what I was going to say right there. My Amazon that's what pulls the trigger. tells me. Is that what it's like an alarm. Say? It just says, grab the mags. <laughs> grab, the glo- grab the Glock. Yeah. Dude, Front when, door. when are they going to sell Ordering guns? More ammo. Do they sell guns on Amazon? No. Fuck not yet. Not at all? Not, not yet. yet. Yeah. yeah. They will. Yeah, they, they never will. They have no, to. They're waiting. Yeah. No. At least handguns and like rifles. No, well, you sell them at Walmart. Before handguns. It'd be rifles way we, before yeah. handguns. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Can you imagine if you could just fucking buy, buy a handgun, handgun on Amazon? Amazon? <laughs> As I'm sure we'll <laughs> you get know, there. You know what? I bet, they, like, be I bet there are companies that It'll sell just be all the parts. More chaos. So all the parts plus yeah. instructions. Yeah, oh, I'm if sure. you buy all the parts to this clock, we give you instructions, <laughs> yeah. like uh, like assembly instructions. That's their bonus it's gift. The, that's, that's your free yeah, gift. Dude, like, yeah. It's illegal to sell handguns, but you could totally just like fucking buy every single mm-hmm. piece that could make a handgun. Yeah. You could buy yeah the the machine used to produce handguns. You, so you could just start producing your own. Yeah, totally. Mass, yeah. In mass democratization of handgun production. Yeah. yeah. Yep. It's a when, very noble goal. When is a uh, like. When do you think Jeff Bezos pulls the trigger on, like, I'm stores? On, <laughs> on a Glock. But, oh. it's, but it's on, like, stores. Never. Never? Fuck it. Why does he need to, bro? Because He's they're... the richest man on the earth, like, not without stores. That's just more cost. That is fair. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I mean, and, and that's, like, the thing with um, online stuff, though, is, like, what improvements could they make? Well, but I have a question. Like, because like like, they have to innovate If Amazon somewhere. opened a store, would you go? Because I fucking wouldn't. I like, would, oh, well, I can just order it on Amazon. Yeah, right. I go to yeah, Walmart. Exactly. Like, I would, like, like, you know what I mean? I go to Walmart. So yeah. I think the next step is to just make delivery faster. Well, yeah. So, like, you, so would like, like you would do like the thing? same day drone delivery or yeah. something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like that would be the next step. It wouldn't be like, I'm going to open a brick and mortar store with a limited <laughs> selection that we have to ship to. So what do you think they would do first? The theaters or uh, stores? Because with the Amazon Studios, like they, I don't you could that. do like an Amazon like in-home theater. Well, they would never create out. theaters. What do you mean? Because they would just no, they would go buy to the out ones, theaters. No, they would just go to the ones that are already there. What do you mean? Because Regal and AMC already exist. Right. So if they want to do a theatrical release, they would just go to theaters that already exist. Yeah. They're like never the going to take like, the cost well, no, of but they opening wouldn't. your own theater. Same with like Redbox. No, they and have to. Blockbusters. Have. Right. You have you know, streaming like, Netflix. Dude, they have to. Like Netflix does theatrical releases. Well, they wouldn't have to sell their movies to AMC or... Uh, I don't know. No, I don't know. It's distribution. They don't sell anything to AMC or Regal. It's just distribution. No, I'm saying if, like, say Amazon or Netflix, like, has their own theaters, like, that would be, they would only play their own movies. That's what I was saying with, like, the uh, the Korean model, where they were, they apparently have that, where they have production companies yeah. that own theaters that they play their I own just, stuff in. I just don't know if that would work in America. Well, there would be, that's what I'm saying is there is no cost to the theaters themselves because it would be Amazon paying for it anyway so no, you I'm, saying, I'm saying amazon wouldn't take the cost because amazon would have to pay for it no they would if amc or regal were the ones that were showing your movie if it was the only available right, at but amazon then they'd theaters, have to open a, a whole theater well and they would then, have to buy a theater chain and, and then, then open it, it and yeah. pay all the property tax and all right that but stuff. in order to become like the next regal or amc like i'm sure they would make that move I, or would, what would you say? Would you make? Would you say they would make that move first, or would they do in store like I, I, grocery store? No, I genuinely think. I genuinely think that their whole, like, I don't think movies are a big enough percentage of their profits. Uh, I like, think they oh, make like movies their whole to Amazon. sell their subscription. Right. I don't think they yeah. need to have theatrical. They don't need ticket sales. Right. Like that would be such a minor thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I. Uh, I don't think brick and mortar would come either, but like if they want to expand their like ability to do groceries, they might do like 
they would like partner Amazon with someone. Farms or something. You know what I mean? Amazon Farms. Yeah, like can you imagine if they like just like <laughs> like, they, like a, bought out a farm and then like they could make their own produce? Yeah, just like all organic. Well, I'm and sure. Fresh. Yeah, you get yeah, what I'm yeah. saying. Like, but like, I but that's what like, that that's would what... happen sooner than them opening theaters. Like, right. Because yeah. like I feel like it's such a small percentage of their income. Okay, so you think they they would definitely make that move before. The, yeah, I don't think theaters. Yeah, would, I, I I doubt theaters would happen. Is it, is like it even Amazon, before like, the, even before the pandemic, dude, theaters were dying. Yeah, like, well, I, no, I but that's what. That's I, a, a but they would to have go. to like they would have to adjust the 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 way you'd sell it because I in my opinion, if you if you like, I had this idea a little bit ago where they would actually like sell like a living room like because i could like buy the best tv and best sound system i can afford and it could still blow so if but if a company were to invest in decent stuff and i just rented like the room for a day and i just hung out in the room like you know what i mean like it's, that is so dystopian. No, but that's what that I mean. That is so fucking dystopian. <laughs> that's bro. what I'm saying. I, yo, hold up! I gotta, I gotta rent my new living room. Dude. Yeah, that's so fucked up. But that's the thing is, you can, so you can play games, yeah. you can watch movies, you can do whatever. They fucking, they got a new family coming in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We, we got somebody else signed in for six to seven. That's okay. what I mean, though. It, they're having game night. Yeah, <laughs> that's, right. that's insane. To and me, then they dude. go home to their that like is, squalor. That is bad. I mean, like, yeah. I guess I wouldn't put it past them, but holy shit, dude! That's what I mean. Is that not? That, that's fucking dystopian. Being, right yes like that we have to like fucking <laughs> what do you mean rent a living room no but that's what Going i'm back saying to, like colonial times you know like red, red coats walking in yeah we need to borrow need your, your house your kitchen dude like, if we're not raising minimum wage at least give people you a have nice to pay, place to you watch have to pay stuff. rent per room well that's yeah gonna, dude i'm oh, sorry dude. you don't have access to the living area right <laughs> no now. no you no. have to upgrade your subscription are you a prime subscriber well they can have bigger room <laughs> dude it's an amazon prime living that's room that's what i'm telling you just comes to your house with a clock yeah so we're just, just like it's bad shit dude subscribe holy shit subscribe you can't you tell can me rent our amazon enough. work area to build your amazon well, clock yeah. no that's <laughs> That's what I'm saying. What it's, the fuck? It's the same thing as office. Is it? What's an office? I could just do the same you thing. You can lease a whole office. If, yeah. What if they like leased it per desk? But that's what I mean. Like it, no, it's, it's just with, the like, commodification Airbnb. of everything. It's insane. Like you buy Airbnb. a house and they're like, you can only have two rooms unless you pay extra. Think about an Airbnb, but for the purposes of having for a film living. and entertainment. Like, otherwise, you just sit in like a, a like a. Like everybody doesn't have a house anymore. Like they, they don't have like home entertainment anymore. But that's you what have it to is. Like it's... sleep in like a bur- <laughs> you're in, like in a barracks. Like you get yeah. a bed because that's all you can afford. You you afford a bed and that's like a shared lavatory yeah. and that's where you sleep. But at that's night. what I mean. And then like maybe once a month if you've worked enough time in the warehouse you can fucking go out to like. Hey man. You could go out. Oh dude. You could finally go to the honey. Bar to get a honey, drink. we yeah, dude, <laughs> honey, we can afford the kitchen this year. Like, we we can have warm food for a week. <laughs> We they, we gotta plan right. our time in the living room. Dude. But they, they you can't all tell just me work that. at Jeff Bezos. They're like, did you yes, did you put it? Did you put in for the two hours off? <laughs> <laughs> did you put in for the two hours off right. so that right, you can right. go rent our living room? <laughs> oh, that's that's when I. You can't tell me that it doesn't sound slightly realistic though, in the way that the, the trajectory of society. Oh, oh, not in a good way. No, no, oh, no, no. That's completely. I kind I kind of hope it happens a little bit. I just want to see. Dude, that's like totally like a fucking. Out. That's a wild setup. Dude, that's but that's a, what I mean. That's insane. Dude. Is that's where we're go- like if we're if theaters are on the way out. What's after theaters? That's that is the my living question. room. Yeah, the they're, living room. They're coming for dude. It's not protect the kids. You it's sell protect the living room. Protect the living room. Protect the living room. We've really lost our family values in America, dude. There's no living yeah. rooms anymore. They're trying to sell you, you living ta- rooms. No, I'm saying like, if if okay, say a small private theater, say like something like that that has a big screen with like really North nice Light, speakers. For example, say like there's six of those in one like pretty decently small like office thing, that and then you just slap a uh, Amazon name on it. And then put some comfy chairs in there. That's a fucking... You have private... Many private theaters that you can rent for like the two hours or whatever slot. Right. And that's like... You can't tell me that that's not like... The, no, I mean, that's happened before. But that's what I mean. It's like... That's what it seems like they are going towards with like that sort Maybe, of... Maybe. But I, I, I was just saying earlier... Like, like I was saying earlier. It I, is super I just dystopian. think movies are like super small for yeah. Amazon. Yeah. Relative to like their actual like... 
right. the shipping and like their online mm. store. Uh, I, I just think the if movie, we're talking percentages, most percentage, likely. yeah, like the the movies are like an afterthought, right? So I don't know if we'd see that really before, right. like we see like same day drone delivery and shit like that. Mm, yeah, you know what I mean. That's like a, I feel like that's, that's a, probably like that's the, the reason Jeff Bezos is flying up to space is to start this society. Right. Yeah. Right. No, that's yeah. He yeah. he's got getting off the planet first, and then he's gonna make sure to like all right, the we're Amazon gonna, barracks. We're gonna yeah. abolish minimum wage. We're gonna it's like, abolish yeah, a any, planet. Any sort of working condition, like a, that we've passed. It's like the factory cities in China. It's yeah, like a whole plan to that. Yeah, we'll get there. It's like everybody just works for Amazon. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> everybody just we're just, you, we're you just waiting for those ice scene. caps, baby. You work like like how many hours? However many hours are in a week, you work those. And then you have to like put in for like oh my God, you have to put in for, on for all of them. Yeah, everything yeah. is just shipped. Yeah, yeah, dude, you have to like put in yeah. for like the living room. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, but isn't that like that's like portal? That's like what the whole thing is is where it's like you get like that room in the beginning. What is it Portal Two? The portal beginning two, of that? In the room, yeah. Yeah, and you're just like hanging out, and you're like, wow, this is actually kind of nice. And then you're like, oh no, wait, I'm a test subject. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's like shifts away, and you just the room is like yeah carrying you. Yeah. yeah. Through other rooms. And then a robot breaks you what out. A throwback portal. Portal. Dude, I love that yeah. game. I remember the Orange Box games when all the Valve yeah. games Yeah, Portal 1 was in that. Yeah, Portal 1. Team and Fortress. Team Fortress. Team Fortress. And then... Um, Counter-Strike. Uh, uh, the Half-Lives. Half-Lives, yeah. Yeah. And I then, played Counter-Strike. It, well, it was all the Valve, it was yeah, all the Valve it was all, games yeah, ported to the console. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Half-Life's cool. Half-Life's really cool. That story's really good for Half-Life. Half-Life 4? Or is 3 the one that's supposed to come 3 out? is... They, uh, Valve cannot count to 3. Is yeah, they can't count yeah to it's three. Alex. Yeah. That's the VR one. That yeah. one oh, just came out. Yeah, right. It's sweet. I, I don't I don't have a VR headset, no, but it. It, it's really, really Have cool. you gone into the virtual reality space? Never, I don't Never. think. Yeah, I, I, I have. I have it's a buddy cool. that has one, but... Yeah. We should do it on the podcast. Okay. Yeah, yeah, VR on the podcast. VR podcast. It'd be a lot of fun. I'm down. All right, what time are we at? Are we over now? We're at 110. 110. Yeah, All right, do you want to you want to wrap up? I'm down to wrap up. Okay. Want. Just over an hour. Yeah. I think we've done enough. Yeah, it was enough. We've said enough words. I'm just going to hold this for the rest of the podcast. It, it fell off. I didn't even touch it and it fell off. <laughs> it's time. Guy. It's a sign. Whatever. It's a sign, dude. Well, okay. So is that are we doing plugs? We ending ending everything? Yeah, we can end everything on plugs. Okay. Uh Brody, give me your what do you where, where can people find you? Well, I think that the main focus of this should just be Follow Ultra Bird Visuals. Yeah. This is the the predominant thing. We have our own personal accounts linked on there, but if you yep. want to get to our personal accounts on Instagram, yeah, you got to go. go through Ultra Bird Visuals. Right. Um, Add Ultra Bird Visuals, Instagram, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, maybe. Ultra Bird, all one word. We'll probably make one at some point, maybe yeah. your Twitter. We'll have a website coming soon. Uh, twi- Instagram, I'll probably make a birdhouse Instagram as well. Birdhouse and probably separate, like yeah eventually you'll it'll link on it'll be on the ultra bird page go to the ultra bird page that's we'll we'll put this on there and then also on the other one so every wednesday at noon be sure to check out the podcast mm-hmm. um we'll be releasing it um probably everywhere i assume yeah youtube um, youtube uh spotify, spotify. It, itunes um so this will be on the ultra bird youtube channel as the well. ultra bird youtube channel and, uh, yeah, you go to Ultra Bird Visuals. Search Ultra Bird Visuals. Search Ultra Bird Visuals. There'll be a link in the description yep. if you're watching this on YouTube. Yep. To our Instagram and our other socials. Be sure to check them out. Follow, subscribe, Ring that et cetera. Ring, Ring the, the bell. bell for the notifications on our uploads and our yep. notices. You know, we upload all our stuff, music videos and everything else, etc. True. So be sure to check all that stuff. You can ring out. several bells on Instagram, YouTube, all the all. Ring them yeah, all. Dude. Ring all the bells. Ring every bell. Every bell Please. you see, ring them for us. Not for other people. Just yeah, us. Just us. Um, but no, other than that, website and Patreon, those are coming soon. Um, it'll be ultrabirdvisuals.com. We've got the domain. We just have to like set everything up. So We're working on it in progress. We'll be linking be that in, in the description eventually as well. Right. Patreon, same thing. We're doing, we're, well, we'll get there. You know, we're, we don't want to rush into this. In the meantime, too fast. The three of us will be recording these. Yeah. Weekly. Weekly. Released on Wednesdays at noon. Every Wednesday at noon. No, well, we're gonna try not to skip or miss any of them. Uh, so we'll we'll see if that happens. But all right, I thought this went well. I did too. What do you think, Kyle? It went great. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, it was a good time. Hell cool. yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll keep it going. Yep. Um, Betty White. Betty White. Shout out. Betty White. Shout out. 
We'll, we'll, we'll open. We gotta check we'll in. We'll open every podcast with the Betty is White. Betty White. Betty White. Is Betty White alive? <laughs> yeah, we're checking. Yeah, <laughs> we got a Betty White show. check. The Betty yeah. White check in. Oh, yeah. we're gonna have a funeral episode. The countdown to 100 years we're old. Have a, yeah, countdown 100. to 100. Betty White. Shout out to 100 cakes. Shout out to 100 cakes. Betty White is a lot one of day closer. Yep. To 100 years old. Yeah. So I think if we have one goal of this podcast, it's to get Betty White. 100. On the podcast. But that was like. Established like right away, like immediately. <laughs> just give up. Yeah, we're just <laughs> gonna hold it. We're just holding this for the remainder. All right. Going off script. All right. Is that Cheers. it? Uh, you could, yeah. My stuff is on Alterbird Visuals. Kyle, you're. Is there anything you want to promote yourself? Yeah, Kyle can, you can get a promotion. You could, you could promote because you're new. You're new and you're not on the Alterbird Visuals page yet. Yeah, Raid Shadow, yeah, Shadow Legends. Yeah. Raid Shadow, Shadow Legends. Uh, Shadow. Sponsor. <laughs> Kyle's a uh, big fan, dude. Need... Kyle missed the window to get Ninja. We need a- this as a champion in that game, and he really wants Ninja. Can you get Ninja, please? Uh, I'm an avid player. I just uh, really need this sponsorship. Uh, my kid could really use it. Yep. <laughs> and uh, yeah, <laughs> and he means a baby goat. Yeah, That's what he yeah, means. yeah, exactly. Not his child. Yeah, but uh, thanks for tuning in. Shout out to these two guys for having me on. I'll be here once a week with them. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes, man. It was, uh, it, was a, it was a good time, guys. Yep. I All had right. fun. I had fun as well. Thanks for coming to my place, guys. Good hopefully, today, oh, a studio coming soon. Hopefully. Not not like in the next like five episodes, because that's like within we the next month. We actually have to start recording episodes so, first, yeah. and then yeah, we'll right. figure it out. Studio, new studio. We're trying to move out. This is my parents' house. <laughs> I don't live here. We'll just cut this part out. <laughs> no, this part's going to stay. Out. I think we should just cut this I part. I like this part. Chick, chick, chick of these, chit, 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 mouse. Everybody loves to watch birds. There's really no limit to the number of bird houses you can.